Okay, Robbie. So for this week, this is a tough one. Um, we touched on it earlier, so we're going to recap it. So you've got a farm, mm -hmm. you've got fence hugging neighbors. Oh, yeah. Um, and it doesn't matter if it's a 60 acre farm or a 200 acre farm or a 600 acre farm, mm -hmm. you're going to have a border. Yeah. yeah. So the, the, I think the common thing to go to is, is just don't put any food plots on those edges, right? You had right. brought something up to me and, and share with these guys, because I think it's genius. Um, I've got usable ground, but I've got this neighbor, I've got this fence mm -hmm. line. What do I do? Well, like in your situation, you got how it's spread out and where you're having your issue at, at, you got a lot of good food sources away from it. Right. And that's where you want to keep them deer. You want to keep them away from that fence row that you're having problems with. But at the same time, you got such a beautiful area up there that you don't want to just let it grow up in weeds and grasses. You don't want to just plant, you got plenty bedding and everything already planted out here. It looks beautiful. Um, I can't leave a spot open. I got to plant right. something in it. I'm the same. But at the same time with something going on like what's going on here with people hugging the fence row and, and waiting for the deer to come out at night we know them deer are going to go out in that ag field we know they're going to do it eventually they're going to jump the fence go out in that ag field yeah so my plan was to take our southern greens which you know it has collard greens in it it does not need a frost to turn it sweet plant it early you know we're, we plant it the 20th of may and which is uncalled i mean unheard of you right. just don't do that you, you're planting that mix in august you know where you're at here but my what i'm wanting to get out of it is i want them deer to have all that that protein that energy and fiber and they will eat that down before your hunting season so they're going to get a good food source all the way to hunting season then that plot will be wiped out which will keep them deer back on the area you want them to stay at and away from that fence uh and not get to that field till after dark and I think it will take some pressure, some browse pressure off my other plots. It will. They'll, they'll hit that. It'll yeah. become a dead plot and then help those deer move into the Absolutely. center of the farm. It will. So I, that was one of the most exciting things that has come out of this week is um, just a new strategy right. to try to outsmart, you know, the next the next yep. field over. Really. Well, and you know, with that Southern Greens, you know, we came out a few years ago with it. We designed that mix for a Southern plot. And then we realized in the testing part of it, after we already named it Southern Greens, that it grows great in the northern area right. too so here's just another thing we're trying out to see if this actually works it could be a, a good tool absolutely tool have a lot of people that have the same issue yeah guys if you're enjoying this q a keep checking in every week um, we're going to keep uh keep hammering robbie for his knowledge